Hey guys, Graham from Great Off-Road Adventures here. Today we've got uh, this awesome 76 series. It uh, belongs to Brett. And uh, we're going to install some SRW intercooler screens and radiator screens. And we're going to show you guys how to do it. So watch this. So this is a good package that I received uh, from SRW screens. And um, we're going to get into it. So I... These are the radiator screens. One is um, just slightly smaller than the other. And that's due to the, um, the, the sort of uh, format on the front of the car. And uh, this is the intercooler screen. So we'll make a start with this one. And then uh, in the box you'll find everything you need to do the job. So we've got the screen and we've got uh, the Velcro and you've also got instructions. So nice and easy to follow. All right, the first thing we've got to do um, is we're going to remove the plastic cover from the top of the intercooler. It's got four little bolts and that's going to allow us to clean up all the leaves and um, other gunk and straighten any bent fins. And then we'll get into installing the screen on top. All right, with a 10 mil socket, You've just got this one, this one, and two on the other side to do as well. And we can take the top cover off. That'll do it. Well, those are the four bolts undone. And then literally that's how simple it is to take this off. With this off, you can also give it a clean up because we've got to stick the Velcro on here. You don't want any oil or any other residue that'll affect the uh, adhesive. So we'll do that, we'll give it a clean up. We'll obviously clean up the intercooler and uh, then we'll get on with uh, the rest. So you can see here, these bent fins, that's the fin damage that we're gonna try and stop, by, well we are gonna stop by uh, installing the SRW screen, that uh, we'll get all that fixed up as well before we put the screen on. Well we've grabbed the, uh, the workshop vacuum and we're gonna clean up the top of the intercooler now, so uh, have a look at how much mess comes out of it. Brett's in under there straightening up uh, any of the bent fins on the uh, intercooler and uh, I'm about to make a start on cleaning the uh, plastic cover um, getting ready to stick on the uh, intercooler screen. So um, with some contact cleaner because you want it to dry and not leave any residue on there um, give it a good spray and I've got some rags as well to give it a wipe up. So to line up the screen with the, um, the cover off top of the intercooler, it sits flush with, with all four edges. That's how you know you've got it aligned. And then that's how you know where you've got to put the Velcro on to secure the screen. So uh, we'll get on to doing that now. In your pack, you get four pieces of Velcro. Uh, we're going to secure them to the underside of the screen, like that, on all four edges. That way when we transfer the screen onto the guard, it'll line up perfectly straight as I showed you before. So now with all four bits of Velcro secured to the screen, we stick it onto the guard and we line, line it up whilst we do so. Give it a good firm securing. And from here, we've just got to remove the screen from the guard. You can see that it's pretty well secured. It's not going to come off, go anywhere. That's what you have to do for um, cleaning. And now we can uh, put this back on the car and uh, then it's pretty much job done. So with those same four bolts that you removed, you gotta put the guard back on, give them a little bit of a tighten up. And this is the final piece. 
final piece of putting your screen back on. So uh, with it lined up, there it is. Well, these are the radiator screens for part two of the job. And um, let's rip into it and get the instructions out, see what we've got to do. There's, um, there's two screens for the job. You'll see here, 70 series driver side, 70 series passenger side. So make sure you get them on the right spot. In the passenger side box, you find all your cable ties, which uh, I just tipped on the floor, and also your instructions. So we'll get in and uh, familiarise ourselves, familiar ourselves with them, and then uh, get them in on the cruiser. All right, excuse the, uh, the good look you've got of me here, but this is how we're going to do it. Under here, this is the plastic OEM guard that we've got to remove. And there's four bolts, one onto each chassis side of the chassis and two across the front and I'll show you those in a close-up. To remove the OEM radiator guard you'll need a 12 millimeter socket to remove the four bolts. So if you can see there where my vice grips are, that little nut and bar has to get bent from a horizontal position up to a vertical position. I'll show you that. The vice grips didn't work to bend the little tab as they hit the bill bar while rotating. So we decided to follow the instructions and use the hammer and an extension from my socket set in place of a cold chisel. So these are the two radiator guards, radiator screens, and um, they go either side of the uh, bonnet support latch. And uh, if you look closely, you'll see that they're actually slightly different sizes. So the bottom one, which is the slightly wider one, is the passenger side. And the driver side is the uh, slightly narrower one. So just make sure you put them in on the right side. They probably won't fit um, if they don't go in the right spots. So looking at the screen, you want to run your cable ties through horizontally so that they can wrap around the grill and we'll show you a close-up there's two little vertical uprights in amongst the grill and that's what you'll go around you don't want to go around the chrome otherwise you'll see it you'll, you'll see where the cable ties are so we'll give you a close-up on how that looks so if you look really closely here what we're trying to line up is the, the tab into that little slot in the grill. And you can see where the cable tie runs through the grill and around the two little upright spots. I'll show you it from the front. So you can see there that chrome stripe up the top is the top of the grill and you can see there where the cable tie runs through. Using the cable ties provided loosely secure the screens in place and ensure they fit correctly then tighten the cable ties starting at the bottom and moving to the top. And last but not least, make sure you put your radiator guard splash tray back on with the uh, same four bolts pulled it off from. Well guys, this is Brett and I was uh, explaining to you guys at the beginning his um, He's got a 76 in today for the SRW screens, so thanks for that mate, appreciate it. Thanks buddy. What do you think of the screens mate, from what you uh, saw before and how they look now? Yeah, it's a really clean look, uh, I can see the added protection that's going to give my intercooler, uh, some, those uh, fins bending, you know, uh, good added gain for it, so yeah, really, yeah. really nice bit of kit. Well, sounds like another happy customer, 
and we'll uh, let, get Brett, let Brett get out on the road and test them for us. Thanks, mate. Cheers, buddy. Thank you. Cheers, guys. If you have a 70 series or 200 series V8 cruiser, make sure you check out SRW screens on either Facebook or the internet for some awesome radiator and intercooler protection options. You'll find links to both in the description below.